Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to discuss the roadmap to complete cohort 11 to 100. We have already made the roadmap to complete 0 to 100, right? This was the roadmap that we created 4 months back. So there was 30 days plan for the first year student, sorry 30 days plan for the BTEC student and 60 days plan for the MTech students. But in this one both MTech and BTEC student can prepare simultaneously for both of them the plan is of 50 days. Okay, so although there are a lot of contents available in this course but uh, on the top level, if we talk about technical only, so these five, five topics we need to cover diode circuit, MOSFETs, OPAM, BJT and stability analysis and basics of BGR circuit. Although there are more interview questions available as well, there are test series as well, there are more number of questions as well, more interview questions available as well. Also, there is aptitude videos as well. As well. But on a top level, in next 50 days, we should target these much of, at least these much of, these much of technical things should be completed. So let's see how we are going to proceed. So this is the roadmap that I have given. So first of all, you need to complete the RL circuit part, which I have newly added in the course. So this you need to complete on, on a particular day. On the day one, you are going to complete that this particular part, day one. You will find it in some miscellaneous concept. There will be a chapter named some miscellaneous concepts or some important concept. Chapter number five is there, I guess. So there you will find this video. So you have to complete this RL circuit part first. Then we can move to diode circuit. So what about diode circuit? Diode circuit is not that important for interviews. Certainly some question can be asked from diode circuit in the interviews, but for the written test, it is more important. For interviews, you, you will see, see very rare questions coming from diode circuit. But for written test, it is important also to understand the next topics like MOSFET and BJTs. Why do we need these three terminal and four terminal devices? So to understand these topics as well, diode circuit is important. So within the minimum time, whatever that is required, we are going to cover that. in. Uh, in approximately seven to eight days, we are going to cover complete diode circuit. And it's not that this much of topic is difficult. This is easy. Diode circuit is a moderate level topic and you will not find any difficulty in covering this particular chapter. Right. So uh, in three days, in the first day, we are going to cover lecture one, two, three. So there, there are total 15 lecture and in this manner, we are going to complete. And then we will take two days for revision. There, there when you move to clamper circuit, clipper circuit and peak director circuit, there you will find very interesting uh, very interesting concept and also the, it will be a good revision of your transient part as well that you completed in cohort 0 to 10. In 0 to 10 we have completed transient part and here you will have a very good revision of that. Well and good. Let's move on to the MOSFET part now. So from day 10 we are going to start MOSFET. So first we are going to cover in these two days we are going to cover the physics part then we will see the biasing, amplifiers, all those things we are going to see slowly. Okay so the in, the, in this level I have made the lecture. So here at day 17, you would see lecture 16, 17 and 19. Where is 18? 18 is on the next day. So in this manner only you should complete the lecture. Okay. In this manner only 16, 17, 19 and then 18. So you will realize when you keep on watching the content, when you start watching the content, you will realize why, why I made the roadmap in this manner. Then you need to revise the prerequisite, prerequisite for the frequency response. Whatever the prerequisite that, that needs to be revised that we have already covered in 0 to 10. Those body plots, uh, analog filters, basic of analog filters, all those things we have already covered in cohort 0 to 10. So for those basic prerequisite only you need to revise. So that also I have given here. And uh, for, for those I have given one day window and what you need to revise that also I have told in that course itself. Okay. And then uh, we will start with frequency response. We will cover differential amplifiers and we will see uh, feedback topology as well. Then we will take one more the, in between we, we will take three days for revising the complete MOSFET because if you if you don't revise, revise your feedback topologies and frequency uh, response of amplifier you will not you will not be able to understand the basics of op -amp. so for understanding basics of op -amp, you need to revise your MOSFET so once you revise the MOSFET then you move on to this part op -amp part which is also very very important so in the first week we completed diode circuit in the next three week week 2, week 3 and week 4. In the next 3 weeks, we are going to complete MOSFET. So within first 4 weeks, we are done with the diode circuit and MOSFET part. Now we are we will be moving towards OPAM. So in OPAM, 3-3 three, three lectures again. In OPAM, you initially you will find very very easy topics like inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier, those basic basic things you will see. Then once you move to integrator part, differentiator part, there you will see very interesting concept and that are very very important for the interview. Int integrator, differentiator, Smith trigger, multi vibrators. So these are very interesting concept and these are very good and excellently explained here. Okay, so in this manner we are going to complete our open lecture series as well. And then we can take a buffer and we can add lecture uh, at day 41 and 42 I have said revise MOSFET. So because since uh, it's been two more weeks here, 
uh, it's been two weeks since we are studying opam here so in two weeks you might have understood you might have forgot a lot of a lot of things about mosfet so here you can take two days and revise mosfet as well then again in bjt's bjt we will be covering in three to four days only whatever that is required for bjt's whatever that can be asked in the written test or rarely in the interview whatever that can be asked that is covered in the bjt part in three or four days we will be able to revise that and then finally we will move on to stability analysis and bgr part which is rarely asked in the interview but it is it is a very good concept you should be knowing those concepts so that uh, you also have a enhanced knowledge not just the knowledge that is required but it is very very rare that people ask question from stability analysis or bgr circuit but these are very good concept which should be known by an analog engineer so that's why i have added this topic and certainly in 3 4 days you can quickly go through that well and good and then there will be some more chapter which which is named as some miscellaneous concept okay or some interview question so there i will keep on adding the content whatever that i get I, I if i frame a new question i will add that up there so i will add up more and more content there so that also you can watch so after 50 days you will be watching those content once you are done with those 50 days so in how many days let, let's talk about btech students so you took uh, two months for clearing uh, cohort 0 to 10 and you are taking 50 days here for clearing cohort 11 to 100 in between we are devising as well so everything we are doing now you can write test series as well you will have the test series access so in, within four months you will be able to revise you will be comfortable with all the theory even if you study only three hours per day this is the scene considering you are studying only three hours per day in cohort uh, in cohort zero to ten as well i told you you just need to study three hours per day and here also if you are studying only three hours or four hours because here we need to uh pace up a bit so if you are studying four hours per day in this cohort 11 to 100 with this manner you will be able to complete it okay so yeah accordingly you can prepare and after that you will have a lot of things to cover like you have the test series you will have a plenty of questions we will also be arranging live doubts so loud doubt session we will also be uh, arranging the guidance regarding project and interviews so all these things we are going to do then we will have the aptitude visual videos as well aptitude test series as well so all those things you will be having and with that within six months you will be very much comfortable with the any analog interview you are going to appear for be it your campus placement or you are going for mtech ms inter interview admission anywhere if you just say analog and network analysis any every single question you will be able to answer right so with this manner we are going to complete our cohort 11 to 100 now where this course is available so you can go to our website preffusion.in so there you can check uh, this course is available there uh, so once you go to the paid course section there you will find this course so you can see all these kind of things we have covered full syllabus coverage and nearly 170 hours of videos we have covered uh, cohort 1 to 10 was of 60 hours this one is of around 110 hours then i have given the roadmaps as well also more than 1000 questions have been sold also i will add up more test series as well and i will provide video solution of those test series as well so these things are there then i will certainly arrange the sessions a lot of test series will also be there and complete lecture notes are also given so there would be not a single issue regarding your preparation right and yeah there are some students as well who have the old courses but they want to upgrade to the new course so let's wait for a formal announcement i will give a formal announcement because i haven't launched the course formally the course is live on the website if you want to purchase many people are already purchasing it if you want to purchase you can certainly go and purchase but it will take me time take me some time to make a formal video once i am done making the formal video i will release the course formally as well but for now i have given the access to all the people who wants to purchase the course they can purchase the course because i don't want people to stop their preparation if you want to keep on preparing you can keep on preparing or if you want to wait for the formal announcement you can wait for the formal announcement as well but the price will not change price will be the same only right and those who want to upgrade from old course those who are already having the old course and who wants to upgrade to the new course uh, for them also i will make the announcement in the formal video only but if you quickly want to upgrade then you can uh, then you can message me on telegram you you would be knowing my telegram id you can join our telegram group as well there i will put the link in the description so they can message me if you, if they want to upgrade so the thing is like there is only one policy what i am going to do whatever the amount that you have paid already to me whatever the amount that you have paid already to me and uh, the new course amount so i will subtract that amount and i will generate a coupon code and you you will apply the coupon code and we'll get the access are you getting this point let's just say you have already paid 2000 to me and the new course is of 3000 rupees so 3000 minus 2000 i will generate a coupon code that will 
create the course in thousand rupees only and by applying that particular code you will be able to access the course that's it so this is what i'm going to do and uh, this i will tell formally in the launch video as well so if uh, anyone wants to upgrade their course very quickly then they can uh, message me on telegram and uh, other thing like uh, some people are really those people who are really financially unstable okay really financially unstable that they cannot even uh, manage this much amount of money then they can certainly uh, message me with the good proof or not i shouldn't say good proof i should say like wh whatever the condition they are having they should they can explain me their condition i will certainly look into it it's not that i am not going to see their conditions i will certainly look into it so i would say better message me within two to three days so that i can look into it and certainly do the need needful for you okay so yeah so that's it if you have any other query you can write down in the comment section so i hope you must have understood the complete roadmap how we are going to cover the things okay then thank you very much